Okay, now we're going to talk about the absolute value sign that shows up when we do this integration, the integral of 1 over x dx. We said earlier that the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of x plus c. But you might have seen in your textbook it written like this. The integral of 1 over x dx equals the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. So where did the absolute value sign come from right there? That's what I'm going to try to explain now. All right, we've seen already that the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of x is equal to 1 over x. So it follows from that that the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of x plus c. But the function here, the natural log function, is only defined for x greater than 0. You might remember the picture of the graph of natural log of x looks something like this. It crosses the axis at 1. It's asymptotic to 0 there and then it grows as we go to the right. But it doesn't exist over here where x is negative. It only exists for x greater than 0. But it's possible to imagine this function where x is negative. So how do we reconcile the fact that x can be positive or negative here, but we can't have a negative number inside our, as the argument for our natural log function? Well, we can think about this. The derivative with respect to x of the natural log of negative x, that can be done, and that will only work if x is negative. So I'm going to make a note of that. This will work if x is less than 0. Because if x is negative, then negative x will be positive, And we can have a positive value as the argument for our natural log function. So the question then becomes, how do we differentiate the natural log of negative x? So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say, let u equal negative x. And when I do that, then du dx equals negative 1. So it follows from that that du is equal to negative dx. So then I can say the derivative with respect to u of the natural log of u is going to be 1 over u. That we've already established. The derivative of the natural log is 1 over our variable. In this case, our variable is actually a function. But the same concept still applies. So from this, it follows It follows that the integral of 1 over u du is equal to the natural log of u plus c. Now let's substitute back in. Let's take the fact that u equals negative x and substitute back in. So then we have the integral of 1 over negative x and du is negative dx. This is going to equal the natural log of negative x plus c. And these negative signs right down here obviously can cancel out and we're left with the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of negative x plus c. Now how about that? The integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of negative x plus c. And that applies when x is negative. So we have two ideas now. We can say the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of x plus c. And that's true if x is positive. And we can say the integral of 1 over x dx equals the natural log of negative x plus c if x is negative. And both of those facts are now established. And look what we have here. If x is greater than 0, we just use x. If x is less than 0, we just use negative x. That means we're simply using the absolute value of x both times. So both of these ideas can be summed up with this statement. The integral of 1 over x dx is equal to 
the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And it's commonly written like this, the integral of 1 over u du equals the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And writing it like this makes it clear that we can substitute or that we can have u be a function, not just a variable. And because we commonly use u to represent a function, that makes this notation here using the u just helps point that out to us in our minds. So there we have it. The integral of 1 over u du is the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c.